Graham, just how pleasing was that performance tonight? Parts of it were really pleasing. Um, parts of our up tempo stuff was good. Parts of our pressing was good. Um, part of our clarity of message was good. Uh, obviously, things we can do better, things we can improve on uh, in terms of securing the football at times in, in quite poor areas. But I want the players to play. I want them to be brave enough to play into midfield, but we need to be better at it. Um, but I thought when we played with a tempo and with one and two touch, we got some really good penetration. We got really good runners off the ball. Uh, I thought the goal was excellent. Um, I thought with a little bit more composure and quality in the final third, we could have had more. It was a game of two halves, of course. In the first half, we saw Aidan Wilson and Serge Atikaye playing, but also Sean Goss and Jamie Murphy. Yeah, I think it's really important that the guys get to work together and they get to integrate because they all need to know what the message is. It's not just an 11. Everyone needs to be, be sure of it. And when they're sitting on the sideline, they need to be able to analyse it and see where the weaknesses are, see where we need to get better. Um, but it's good to see the young players coming into playing South American opposition in here in a fantastic stadium, but playing with two players who I think added to the game. I thought Sean and Jamie both added to the squad. Um, they showed little glimpses of what they're about, and I think hopefully, with a little bit more work, with a little bit more integration, they could be really positive for the second half of the season. Yeah, and in the second half, of course, we saw the lone players coming back into into play as well. Um, Michael Haller and Andy Halliday, of course. So, in that situation, it must be a great workout for the team. It's good. That they, that we've got lots out of it. I, I want to get out of this with good understanding of where we want to go, some good foundations laid for the rest of the season, and a fully fit squad. Um, that's going to be the key for, for us. Um, hopefully we can get there. But I thought the guys coming back um, maybe had a point to prove. Both of them showed good glimpses. Um, I thought Andy was going to have to come off or get sent off. Um, and I asked him at the end, are you OK? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Also, well, why are we limping for the last 10 minutes then? But he, he, he's, it is what he is. He's, he's, he's wholehearted. He understands what it means to play for the football club. Um, and I think you could just see when, when, he, when he turns out every time for a Rangers team, he wears his heart on his sleeve. So that, that's good for us. And I think that all the people you've mentioned there added to the collective. And that's what I've challenged the group to do. I've challenged the group to do, to add to everything, add to everything that we're doing, be positive, be an energizer. Um, and we know only 11 can play. We know only a certain number can go in the squad. If you're not part of those, you still need to bring energy and you still need to add to, to what we're trying to achieve. Um, and the guys have bought into that and hopefully it'll carry us forward into the season. What does it say about your squad just now that you had two strong 11s there, but there's also boys back home as well who will hopefully be back sooner rather than later? Well, it, it's great for us because there's people challenging. I think that you bring people like Jamie Murphy and it might light a fire under some other people to actually go and exceed his level or, or, or match his level. And I think that when people are hungry to perform and hungry to defend what's theirs, then you can really, really put good performances in and you can really elevate your level. And that's what we're about. We're about strengthening the group. We're about making everything we do every day better. Uh, and I thought that you saw that with the goalkeepers. Jack Anik made some really good saves and then you bring Liam Kelly on and, and he did really well as well. So we've got Wes Fodering to come back in. He'll start the next game. But the squad is looking strong. But the important part is when things become difficult, the squad stick together. Um, and they embraced challenge. I thought they did that today in um, very humid conditions that some of our guys aren't used to, but it was a very, very valuable workout. I'm, I'm pleased for them as well that after all the hard work that they did, they managed to get the win. And just finally, a word for, for Josh Windass. He certainly came on and it was pivotal in the in the win. Terrific finish from him and it was nice that he did it in front of the Rangers fans as well. He, he, he's got that in the locker. He's a fantastic finisher. He, he, he gets into good positions. I want him to get into those positions more. I don't necessarily want him to come deep and start building play. That's for other people. He needs to trust them to get the ball to him so we can use him as an attacking asset. And I think when we, when we do do that and we show him how to get into those areas more often, more consistently, he can use his running power and his finishing to be a real threat. Right. And if he does that, I think he'll elevate his own game to a higher level, which will elevate our game to a higher level, which can only bode well for all of us. And of course, in terms of the competition, good to get the victory today and going into Saturday's game against Corinthians. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, we saw them play the other day. They've got an extra day's rest. Um, but also, we're looking at... Um, a few people with knocks. We're trying to make sure that we balance the load out if we can. Um, obviously, not having Ryan and Ross uh, in the group weakens us in that regard. But we have to make sure that when we when we turn up against Corinthians, we match the better parts of our level. We, we take care of the ball as well as we did, and we actually are a little bit more ruthless than we were today um, at both ends. And if we do that, it should be a good game. But the guys have put themselves in a good situation going into that game.